All right, g'day everyone, it's Tom Mack and welcome back to another video. Um, today's video, I'm sitting in the boat, uh, just got it back from its yearly service and trailer touch up and um, yeah, just done a big clean up, vacuumed it, um, given it a bit of a wet vac to clean up some, some of those gross spots of fish juice has been sitting there for God knows how long. Um, and yeah, what I'm doing today is having a bit of a clean up and then having a bit of a chat about some of the stuff that I've noticed going on at the moment uh, in the fishing industry and also what I want to do to sort of help. So I guess for me, I get into fishing at a really early age. Um, doing it with my family was always bait fishing um, and it was always on the riverbank. Um, just going down to any of the local rivers. I grew up down in Gippsland, so down on the Tambo River, down, on, down in Marlow on the Snow River, um, all those sorts of things. Just chasing bread and butter species, brim, bass, flathead, mullet, whatever it was. Um, that's sort of how I got into fishing back in the day. And I guess as I got older, um, that sort of passion was developed through, um, I guess that passion was always there and I was always really keen. And I think the passion for fishing sort of starts at a young age where you get a tackle box and you just organize and hooks and sinkers and all those sorts of things. And then as you get older, it develops from there. Um, and it sort of get to that stage around your sort of teenage years, once you've done it for a little bit, that you go, hey, this is pretty cool, and you realise that you can access it yourself. You can go down to the river by yourself with a rod, and you know you might get your mum to drop yourself, drop you off, or you go for a walk, and um, you go down to the river and realise that you can do, yeah, you can do it by yourself, and I think there's a real turning point um, in people's fishing where it goes from just being something that you do with your family to realising, hey, this is something that um, I can do by myself and it's a real challenge and I think for me that was where I think that sort of light bulb moment of this is something that I'm truly and deeply passionate about and really really enjoy and I sort of as as you get older that that passion grows and um, for me studied outdoor education at uni and that just I guess solidified that understanding of the environment and um, why we do it but also being super protective of the environment as well um, and yeah, from there I got into the brim tournament scene, did that for a number of years, fished pretty much all around Victoria um, and all around Australia, had the opportunity to fish with some pretty awesome anglers, um, purchased my first boat um, pretty much just after COVID or pretty much right in the midst of COVID uh, when my son was born a couple of years ago and um, as we sort of transitioned into cod fishing. Um, and it's been a real blast. Um, not here at all to say that I'm an expert. I'm an expert at it at all or in any facet of fishing. Am I here to say that I'm an expert, but um, got lots of years experience on the water um, and want to sort of, I guess, yeah, help to share that knowledge and understanding. And I think at the moment there's a lot of negativity floating around in the fishing industry. And I think from a new and from a newcomer, um, a newcomer's perspective, I think that can really turn people off. Um, and that's the last thing that we want as, as a sport. We want this sport to grow and develop and the more people that can be participating in it, the more that we see um, that flow on effect of our fees going into the stocking programs and all those things to sort of help people and develop people's passion for fishing and but also helps protect and promote it um, in the long term. So I'm not going to sit here and talk about the negativities and the things that's going on at the moment. It's not really my part, um, but Instead, I want to sort of help out and how I think I can do that or what I want to do is do a bit of a giveaway and give back to the, the fishing community that I, um, that I love. And it's not just going to be, it's not just a giveaway of here's my tackle, go and use it. It's a giveaway of time um, and my time out on the water. So what I want to offer or why I want to do this is to try and promote the love for fishing that I have into some other people so really help to sort of mentor someone else out on the water for a day um, and help out as much as we can to develop that that love for the sport but also that deep understanding of of why we do it and the port and in and that importance of sustainability um, in the long term as well so what i'm going to be doing is giving away some time and some mentorship of um, some time on the water in no means am i saying that i'm an awesome cod angler or anything like that but just trying to fast track and help with those little small steps along the way. And it could be, it could just be those fundamentals of what rod and reel do I need? What line am I tying on? Or what knots do I tie? Or where am I fishing? How do I fish this lure? How do I fish this sort of structure? Or what should my boat positioning be? Or if I'm not fishing from a boat, what would that look like? Like there's heaps of stuff that we can go through. I'm more than happy to share as much info as 
as I possibly can um, in the day. But again, I'm not saying that I'm a charter boat operator. Like I'm just a guy that goes out fishing because I really enjoy it and I want to help some more people get into this sport. So what I want to do is a bit of a giveaway to sort of help pump up this positivity and get some more people into the sport um, and enjoying this this passion um, that, that I have. And hopefully it can spark something in someone else as well. So what I'm going to do is offer two... Uh, what I'm going to... What, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two giveaways. The first one's going to be an over 18s um, category, which is going to be a whole day's fish out on the water with me um, in the boat. That could be Lake Moela, Lake Hume, or anything that we can sort of come up with. Um, as long as you've sort of got access to somewhere down here in sort of central northern Victoria, um, we'll be able to figure something out. Um, and the other one's going to be an under 18s category. Same, same sort of parameters there, but it's just going to be a half day um, out on the water, but there's going to be probably a few more limitations to that one where you're going to need to make sure you've got parent permission um, And the winner of that I'll ask for their phone number. I'm going to give them a call I'm going to have a chat to their parent just make sure obviously that's all good um, But that might be for them and also their parent to jump along for the day um, pick you up um, feel free to use as much gear as um, from here as you'd like, but also feel free to bring some of your stuff along and we can sort of help to set some of that up as well. So there's going to be two categories running and all you need to do to enter is going to be pretty simple. The first thing you need to do is comment on this YouTube video below. Um, comment clearly what section you're in. Is it over 18s and under 18s? Then just a bit of a summary around why you like fishing or how you sort of started to get into fishing um, and sort of what sort of stage you're at. It's all going to be random um, and they're going to be pulled out of the hat. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a lucky dip for the winner of both of those categories. And I'm going to be drawing this competition on the 1st of November at 6 o'clock that night. Um, and that'll be posted on my Instagram and on my YouTube as well. So um, the winners will be um, notified that way. And we'll tee up a time over the next month or a couple of months, whenever it is over the, um, the back end of the year. Um, and yeah, we'll tee up a time, we'll jump on the boat and we'll go out for a fish. Um, yeah, the parameters of... Uh, the competition are pretty simple. All you need to do, comment on the YouTube video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Um, and I really need it to make sure that it's clear that you are either in the over 18s category or the under 18s category. Then from there, I'm gonna collate all of those. I'll print them off, cut them all up, put them in two different buckets. I'll pull out one winner for the over 18s, one winner for the under 18s, and then we'll go from there and I'll contact those people. Um, and yeah, we'll jump out on the water and hopefully can um, put you onto some fish, but um, hopefully be able to help you out and develop that understanding of yeah why we fish and why we do it and what we're looking for and whatever it is we're just gonna just gonna I'm just gonna be spewing it out all day um, hopefully helping um, that next generation or that next influx of new fishers um, coming into the sport and enjoying this sport that we all really love so um, yeah really simple comment on the video below subscribe to the channel and um, yeah gonna draw this competition on the 1st of November at 6 o'clock that night and um, yeah, good luck to everyone. If you've got any questions, please flick them through. And um, yeah, good luck. And the winners will be drawn um, on the first day of November. See you guys.